Good evening. A toddler feared abducted in a carjacking at Westmead has been found tonight safe and well with his father. Fire crews are battling a huge factory blaze at nearby Smithfield. A boy needing an urgent facial reconstruction made to wait five days for surgery. And after being set on fire, Snowy the cat has been reunited with his owners. The weather tomorrow, rain developing, a top of 20 degrees. Sarah's next with the weather and the working week's off to a great start. Yes, Mark, spring is almost in the air with temperatures on the rise. I'll have the forecast for the last day of winter after the break. Good evening, Sarah Gruen with breaking news. Labor Party power brokers are urging Julia Gillard to challenge Kevin Rudd's leadership of the Labor Party. Political editor Mark Riley joins me now from Canberra. Mark, how serious is this challenge? Well, if you're looking for a way to shake the winter blues and roll into spring, Rose Seidler House is the place to be this Sunday. It'll play host to the annual 50s fair with these swing time dances, 50s fashion, cars and collectibles. The weekend weather's looking pretty good, not as windy as today, thankfully. Early haze gave way to a fine and sunny afternoon in Sydney. Temperatures were close to average with light to moderate winds. The city had a range of 11 to 18 degrees. Right now it's 15. A mild night for winter, lows of 7 in the west and 10 along the coast. Richmond, Penrith, Liverpool and Campbelltown enjoyed tops of 20 degrees, 19 at Parramatta and on the central coast. On the charts, a trough is generating showers over southern WA with patchy rain along the Queensland coast. Tomorrow, a large high will direct warmer northerly winds across most of New South Wales with early frost and fog in the east. A rainy day for Adelaide with a few showers for Perth and Hobart. Sunny and 24 in Brisbane, Canberra climbing to 16 degrees. Sarah Gruen's outside braving the conditions. Sarah, just how cold did it get? Well, Ian, it didn't get past 14 degrees here in the city today, but it was the wind that cut to the bone, making it feel more like 3 degrees. In the Blue Mountains, the wind chill got down to minus 11. Snowy mountains, but not down south. This is Oberon, west of Sydney. Forests, fields, backyards, 10 centimetres deep in snow. Sarah, it's a cool end today to a very hot month. Yeah, that's right, Chris. Strong southerly winds kept temperatures below average today. Very different to the rest of the month, which has seen temperatures hovering well above normal. Ingleburn in Sydney's southwest was certainly feeling the heat this afternoon. An electricity substation caught fire causing a blackout that forced the evacuation of a nearby school. And with an El Nino pattern lasting until early next year, it looks like a dry, hot summer ahead. You wouldn't know it today, Chris. I'll have Sydney's full outlook a little later. Almost 32 metres from bottom to top, up here is the home of the radar dish. The Doppler radar works by scanning the horizon like a lighthouse, but instead of light, it beams out radio signals that reflect back the intensity and location of showers and storms. Sarah has the weather from Flemington, where she's all <laughs> gussied up for Oaks Day. I hope it was warmer down there today, Sarah. <laughs> Chris, it was a little cooler, but thankfully Sydney's in for some sunshine tomorrow. I'll have all the weather details after the break. Well, a man that needs no introduction, Mr Chris Isaac. So, <laughs> I was about to say so famous, you've had a horse race named after you. That was pretty awesome. Except for my drummer pointed out that it was my picture on the horse's ass. So, <laughs> I don't know if that's a good thing, but I liked it. And they had the Chris Isaac handicap. I mean, you'd probably prefer the Chris Isaac stakes or the Chris Isaac sprint. Yeah, there were a lot of jokes made by my band about it being the Chris Isaac handicap, but I take it as an honour. It is indeed. Now, did you back the winner? Any luck at all? Oh, my God. Carson Kressley, is that you? Oh, my God, it is. How are you? Oh, my God, I am so super fine. How are you? Um, are you faking that accent? Because it's so good. Oh, my God, really? Yeah, you're like a valley girl. I love it. You say tomato, I say tomato. You know how the song goes. We're not going to be calling anything off today, but are men and women really that different? From my experience, yes, especially when it comes to fashion. And she happened to pick Sophie Muck, who we just saw there. Mm. She was in a beautiful dress, yeah. not quite racing attire. I'm not sure if it's, if it's right for the races, but she looks sensational, and as everyone did. so. You're sitting next to a couple of fashion plates who really know their business when it comes to fashion. Yes. So I hear. Yes, mm. we're very critical. But... We don't muck around with the Windex at home, so. <laughs> <laughs> and what do you think of the winner there that we just saw, Sophie Muck, who won Best Dress Celebrity? Uh, Good evening, I'm Sarah Gruen. Look around the big stores this weekend and you'd think Christmas was next week. Tinsel and decorations are being installed as shops get ready for the busiest period of the year. But with times this tough, every store is fighting for your dollar and the hamper wars are on in earnest. David Richardson reports. 
than a thousand people are about to set off on a twilight walk carrying these beautiful glowing balloons for the Leukemia Foundation. <laughs> Enthusiastic for the Leukemia Foundation's uh, Light the Night. They're supporting the estimated 40,000 Australians living with blood cancer. If you would like to make a donation, the details are on our website. Now you can go for a guy. Yeah. <laughs> so if you were to come back again uh, next year, would you do anything differently with the fashion? I'm definitely coming back next year. I'm bringing all my friends with me, a bunch of us. We're going to have a whale of a time, definitely. Can I hold you to that? I'm, I'm here. And can you finish uh, with a song at all, a serenade? No. <laughs> What a lovely way.